पहले अस्सी नदी है 600 वर्ष पुराना ये है अब तो आदमी घेर के एकदम नारी बना दिए हैं कि कितने अधिकारी आ रहे हैं जा रहे हैं उनके पलक पर नहीं लग रहा है वो तो पहले ही से कि गंगा बढ़ती जाती थी तो आदमी स्नान करता था अब गंदे पानी में कौन नहाएगा For nearly a billion Hindus in India, Ganga is the holiest of rivers. Millions of pilgrims and tourists flock the 88 ghats or steps at the riverfront of Varanasi to take a dip in its waters as part of their religious ritual. Today, however, the Ganga is a river of paradox. It is estimated that close to 315 tons of plastic waste equivalent to 79 elephants ends up in the river every day In a recent study samples collected from a 2 and a half thousand stretch of the Ganga was found to contain huge amounts of microplastics Plastics that are less than 5 mm in size and known to contaminate riverine systems Estimatedly about 1 to 3 billion microplastic particles find their way from the three rivers of the Ganga, Brahmaputra and Meghna into the Bay of Bengal every day. In a study conducted by NGO Toxics Link, part of the Ganga flowing through the cities of Varanasi, Kanpur and Haridwar in particular had traces of microplastics in it. There are microplastics which are generated because of the breakdown of the plastic that we use. So, for example, if you throw a polythene bag or you throw a, you know, plastic bucket, eventually they'll break down into smaller parts. And um, you know, kind of, um, if we look at the current, you know, kind of uh, research which has happened, much plastic has been found in air, water, soil, in human bodies, in uh, vegetables. There was one study which talks about around. and it's a huge range but 6000 to 70000 tons of microplastics uh in the river um so there is that's a huge range but i think it's very difficult to estimate the total quantity which might be ending up for years now cities present along the banks of the ganges have been dumping all kinds of waste into it from sewage industrial waste and animal carcasses to unclaimed human dead bodies In Varanasi for instance the same river serves as the main supply of water for the city of about 3.6 million people That's a river which is um also so a source for drinking water for many of the cities which are um, you know on its bank um so this whole i uh, the whole um, you know danger of or risk of uh, you know the microplastic um going back to people um and impacting their health is um, you know obviously a big risk and big uh, you know kind of uh, worry which is uh, there for future jin jo vyakti yahan 365 din reh rahe hain unke upar kya bitta hoga wo log jante honge acche se ki ye nala kitna durgandhit hai rakesh jaiswal has been living near the assi river for 14 years now he runs a hostel for students and finds the stench from the river intolerable kachra dekhi prati din sarkar ka gaadi wala aata hai गाड़ी वाला आता है कूड़े वाला वो गैस विजल बजाते हैं सब घर वाले कचरा फेंकते हैं लेकिन सभी घर वाले एक जैसे तो नहीं होते हैं वो पीछे से घर के दरवाजे का खिड़की खोलकर पीछे से नाले में प्लास्टिक की थैली कचरा मरा हुआ चूहा यहाँ तक कि मरे हुए जानवर कुत्ता सुअर बिल्ली वगैरह भी लोग नाले में फेंक देते हैं जो बह कर जाती है At the Assi River, which is one of the most polluted rivers flowing into the Ganga in Varanasi, a group of people have been working for the last one year to clear it of its plastic waste. This group is part of Plastic Fisher, a German company engaged in collecting plastic waste from Asian rivers to prevent it from reaching the oceans. The Ganga happens to be one of the 10 rivers in Asia responsible for 90% of the plastic that ends up at sea. The urgency of this finding is what drove Plastic Fisher to start by setting up trash booms at various sites of the Varuna and Assi rivers. The two Ganga tributaries that give Varanasi its name. We saw the problem that there is a lot of trash which 
enters into bigger rivers through these small tributaries. Uh, because these tributaries flow through very crowded areas uh, where there are a lot of households and they don't have proper waste management facilities. So they dump their trash in these small tributaries and then these tributaries lead to the bigger river and then the river takes it to the oceans. So the, uh, our concept was uh, to build a system which is cheap, uh, which can be locally manufactured uh, because uh, uh, Import, importing some expensive system and then it has issues and then you need technicians from abroad that cost a lot of money. The job of trash booms, as these structures are called, is to restrict floating plastic. They can be assembled at sites and deployed within five to six hours in a five meter wide river. These structures reportedly collect between 200 to 300 kilos of plastic from each of the two tributaries every day. Mostly the trash which we are collecting from the trash boom is uh, non-recyclable trash, uh, which includes MLPs, single-use plastic, thermacol, uh, and then there is some portion of it which is uh, pet bottles, HDP, LDP, uh, uh, some rubber sandals, slippers, sometimes weird stuff like electronic, like we have found TVs, TV sets in our uh, trash booms as well. The recyclable fraction is sent to the recycling partner. Uh, and the non-recyclable that we bundle out, we bale them uh, using our balers uh, and uh, then we ship it to the uh, cement plant for thermal recovery. Uh, we are also thinking about partnering with other organizations which use it uh, for making boards, furniture, chairs, tiles, so that uh, the waste is used in a better way. In 2014, the Government of India launched the 20,000 crore Namami Ganga project to clean, conserve and rejuvenate the National River. But even though reports suggest that only a fraction of the budget has been spent yet, the Government's goal has been helping companies like Plastic Fisher in tackling the mammoth task of cleaning the river. The littering uh, issue, uh, I mean, uh there has been a constant effort from the government and from us as well. Uh, like we do uh, every Sunday, we are doing this awareness drive on the banks of the River Ganga, where about 100 people participate. Lakshman, a resident of Varanasi, has been working with Plastic Fisher for nine months now. A daily wage labourer at the local Mandi earlier, today he has a regular income. Moreover, working here has changed the way he looks at trash today. Yes, I have done it. I have put one bottle in a bottle. I put it in a bottle and put it in a bottle. And the other one comes to the car and we put it in a bottle. We just put it in a bottle in a bottle. So it was a bad thing. I didn't know. Now it's been a bad thing. So then it's the same as I do here. So I can do it in my house and I can do it in my house. Plastic Fisher's operations in Varanasi has provided formal employment to at least 14 people working in collection, segregation and bailing of trash, providing them opportunities for financial planning and health insurance. No, it's better from that. I'm very happy. Our family is also happy. They keep good food, they eat 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 good food. Now, what was the first thing? If you think about it, if you work in the labor mandi, it took two days, two days, two days, two days. तो वही थोड़ा सा दिक्कत का मतलब सामना करना पड़ता था। Through their concerted efforts, Plastic Fisher has estimatedly collected 47 tons of plastic from Varanasi since they began operations in 2021. Though initiatives like these are much needed to help mitigate the current crisis, the bigger need is to minimize and finally eliminate the usage of plastic from our planet. Thanks for watching Eco India. If you like the story, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to scroll.in on YouTube.